some quite dodgy looking characters around here before. <laughs> Someone was playing music as well out of the room. Oh, that is not a nice smell. It smells like some sort of bleach or something. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that, folks. It's a roach. Oh my God, it's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. What have I done? Look at that, there's another one on the bath there, look. Oh my goodness, what have I let myself in for here? This motel is the biggest hole I have ever stayed in, ever. Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I am here in Dallas, Texas. And it's the evening of the Monday when we had the total solar eclipse. Yes, I got to see a total solar eclipse over the city of Dallas, where I am now. And it was absolutely amazing. You might have seen the video. If you haven't, check it out. And um, the night before that, I stayed in a rather swanky hotel. In fact, it was quite a funky hotel. It was the Lorenzo Artisan by Hilton. And it was, it was I've never stayed in a hotel quite like it. It was like an art hotel, like a sort of boutique kind of art hotel. It was quite posh. It was very expensive as well. $350 a night. Well, I can't pay that much every night. So what I've done tonight is I've booked into another hotel <clears throat> and it does look like I'm going to be staying in a different hotel every night. And if I just turn the camera around, I don't know if you can see over there, but this is a motel six studio or a studio six motel and it's nothing like as good as the last one i stayed at oh my god i'll tell you what this area around here seems a little bit dodgy uh, what have i done i hope i haven't made a mistake by booking this one and by the way this one cost me 90 pounds so i don't know what that is in dollars there you are the motel studio six and this is in market uh, just outside of downtown Dallas, there we've got the Double Tree by Hilton. That's actually quite a swanky looking hotel, that. But I'm not too sure about this one, folks. What do you think? I wonder if I've made a mistake with this one. Uh, I don't know. Let's have a little look around, shall we? What can we see around here? Well, just over the road, we've got a Denny's. That's handy. I love Denny's. Look at that. The only thing is, I'm sure I saw a bloke who was completely spark out on the floor there before. It seems to have gone now, but I'll tell you what though, this area around here, it doesn't seem very, very, uh, well, it seems a bit sketchy if you ask me. Yeah, here's a look at the front of the hotel there, look, there you are. I can, I can hear a plane taking off. It's quite a busy road this as well, the cars are absolutely bombing it past here. So yeah, we've got a Denny's over the road. I can see downtown Dallas just over that way. It would be quite a long walk to get to downtown, uh, but I'll just show you a little bit around the outside and then we'll go inside. I hope I'm not in for a shock. Yeah, I've seen a few people hanging around. When I, when I came out before, I saw some people hanging around outside and I thought, they look a bit like they're up to no good, this lot. What have we got here? A multi-storey car park. I saw a woman down here before as well and she had like a kid with her and she looked like a homeless woman. Yeah, it's getting a bit dark now actually. I don't, don't think I want to go any further. So I think what I'll do is we'll head back to the hotel, we'll go inside and uh, we'll, we'll check it out inside. Yeah, so I have actually been in the hotel uh, I've had a quick look in the room just to drop my bags off. So when we go in there, we'll have a good look around and we'll see what we think. But when you see the reception, uh, there's something to show you, which is not a particularly good sign. <laughs> Wait until I show you. Here we go. Now, can you see how the reception has got the plexiglass around it? good sign is it to have plexiglass around the reception do you think oh, that's 
Let's have a look down there through that back. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's go in the lift. We'll go to my room. That's quick. Hello. Right, I'm on the third floor. Uh, well, the lift doesn't seem too bad. It's not too bad, it, it works as well. So we're on the top floor, yeah. So uh, now to check out the room. Mm. Am I going the right way? Now I'm in, oh, you know what? I can smell like, oh, that is not a nice smell. Smells like some sort of bleach or something. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think I've messed up here with this or what? Uh, oh, that's mine now, look, 316. Uh, just have to show you down there. I thought that was the picture, it's just a mirror. Yeah, what do you think? No frills. No frills. Let's have a look at the room, shall we? Oh, right, here we go, folks. Now, I have quickly just come in here just to drop my bags off. So, we'll get a proper look now. Um, now, this room has got two queen beds, as you might be able to see there. I'm going to have to see if I can turn a light on. In fact, I'll turn these lights on here, shall I? Let's see. We have light. Right, okay. Um, yes. Uh, there's a certain smell about this room. Um, can't really describe it. Cleaning fluid, something like that. So as you can see, there's, there's two beds. I've got two queen beds. Which one do I sleep in? But this actually worked out cheaper than a one king bed. So that's why I went for this one. It was £89 to be exact. Anyway, let's show you around. Let's have a quick look in the bathroom first, shall we? We'll start with the bathroom. It's funny, but they've got the switches actually in the bathroom. Yeah, I thought they used to have the switches outside. What do you think? Actually, you know, the bathroom, first impressions. That doesn't look too bad. What do you think? It's very simple. But it does look pretty clean. And we're looking. You know, the bathroom doesn't look all that bad. What do you think? I've got towels, uh, you get soap there. So yeah, a little bit sparse, but it does look reasonably clean, the bathroom. I'll just turn the light off. Right, okay, uh, wardrobe, of course. This will have a safe in it, a clothes rack. Um, there'll be an ironing board in there. We don't need that. So, you know, I thought I saw something crawling on the floor then. Did I see something? Like a fly or something? Uh, here's a look at the bed. I don't know which bed I'm going to be sleeping in, but... Uh, I'll have to decide, won't I? <laughs> I've got this massive fridge here. Look at this fridge here. Wow, absolutely huge fridge. It's got a freezer on the top. Look at that, and there's nothing in it. Wow. Oh my God, look at that, a massive fridge with nothing in it. Can you just imagine how much energy this fridge is taking? A huge fridge like this, and there's absolutely nothing in it. Yeah. I mean, normally in a hotel room, I'm used to getting a fridge, but it's like a really, really small fridge. You know, one of those like little sort of mini bar type fridges, but not something like that. It's absolutely huge. Let's, let's uh, carry on, shall we? So we've got a couple of lights here. We've even got a phone. That does look a little bit dirty though, doesn't it? I don't think anyone uses a phone anymore, do they, in the hotel room? 
got an alarm clock I won't be using that I'll just use my phone let's have a look at my bed do I sleep in this one I think I've chose my bed haven't I uh, I won't ruffle up that one but just over here we've got a TV not a bad looking TV let's check if it works Oh, the lights on. Yep, the TV works. I'll just mute it. And just over here, there's another light. Can we turn this one on? Get a bit more light there and a the microwave. And I've got a coffee machine on the top. I've got a couple of coffee sachets that I can use. Uh, down here's the aircon. I'll tell you what, these things are so noisy, these aircon, air conditioners. How come they're so, so noisy? Um, you should be able to turn the fan off as well. In fact, I think it's turned off this one. Should turn it, they turned it off. So they've got a fridge running, but the air conditioner's turned off. Let's turn the temperature down a bit. What do you reckon, about 70? Let's leave it on now, 70. Should we leave it there, 70? Sounds about right. So it's got to come down. It's saying it's 77, I'm trying to get it down to 70. Yeah, that seems a bit weird, doesn't it? They've got this fridge, empty fridge, um, using all that energy for nothing, and yet they've got an air conditioner down here which was turned off. I mean, no wonder it's warm in here. I actually thought it was quite warm in here, but the, the air conditioner's turned off. So uh, at least the temperature will come down a bit now. I'll cool down a bit, yeah. Let's have a look out the window, shall we? There's a pool out here. Check it out. Let's look through here. Look. Oh, look. We've got a pool. How about that? Wow. I don't think I'll be using it, though. Yeah, so £90 for this... Um, this room which I don't think is that cheap you know I mean we're talking 90 pounds which is probably way more than a hundred dollars and this is quite easily the worst hotel I've stayed at or at least it's the least desirable hotel should I say not only the hotel itself the feel of the hotel the smell um, the area it just feels so sketchy outside you know, when I was coming in, when I was coming down this way, and when I parked my car up at first, I saw some of the other people that were in some of the other rooms, and I thought, oh my goodness, I hope I'm not living, I hope I'm not, I hope I'm not staying in one of those rooms down there, down the side, because there's some people down there who look proper dodgy. <laughs> so I'm glad to be up here on the top floor, but uh, what do you think, folks? Uh, uh, I don't think I'll be staying here another night. You know, I don't know what it is about American Electrics, but I think they're bloody rubbish. You know, you press the button there and one light comes on. And uh, you press it again and the other one comes on. And then you have to press it again for the two lights to come on. And then again to turn them off. What's wrong with just having a button for each light? Goodness. Okay, so we've had a look at the room and uh, I'm going to have to stay the night here. Yes, yes, I'm going to have to stay the night here <laughs> because it's getting late. I've had a long day doing the eclipse and I just had to get somewhere. There was no way I could stay at that hotel for another night. It was far too expensive to stay there again. Even though the price had come right down, the price was around about £200 to stay at the other hotel again. So if you look at it that way, that's only just twice as dear as this one. So, but is it twice as good? I'd say it's more than twice as good because this one, well, uh, <laughs> you can't compare them. Yeah, so it's been a bit of a long day for me today. And you'd, you'd think, you'd actually think, wouldn't you, that I deserve somewhere better than this after what I did today, capturing that eclipse, 
coming all the way here to America and having to go to to pull out all the stops with my cameras and and all that sort of thing to film and photograph that I clips you think I deserve somewhere better than this well well hopefully this will be the worst I stay in along the trip I'm going to probably stay in a different hotel every single night and uh, it is getting quite late now like I said I just had to book somewhere you know so I've got somewhere now but the time the time is coming up to about nine o'clock and I'm getting quite hungry and I could well do with a drink you know what I could really do with I could do with a cup of tea a cup of PG tips tea but where can I get a cup of tea from maybe I can get one from Dennis so uh, let's head over there then shall we okay so I've just come out of the hotel there and uh, I'm gonna be heading over to Dennis uh, in a minute uh, what I thought I'd do is we'll just show you around this side here, see what you think. There's some quite dodgy looking characters around here before. <laughs> and someone was playing music as well out of the room. So I'm in this big block here. Just over here we've got two storey. Typical motel, isn't it? do you think? Would you stay in a motel like this? There do seem to be some people hanging around here as well, yeah. Yeah, a little bit dodgy. It does seem quite busy around here. There's lots of people across the road. So, I am desperate for a drink more than anything. I'm quite hungry as well, so I might get something to eat as well. I wonder if they do tea at Dennis. I'll have to find out, won't I? Got to make sure I look left when I cross the road. Look left there. There's another motel over here. What's this one? It's the Days Inn by Wyndham. Anyway, let's head into Dennis, shall we? See if I can get a drink and something to eat. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Thanks. I think I'm going to go for an all-American slam. Three scrambled eggs with cheddar cheese, bacon strips, sausage links. I don't know how they call sausages links. Hash browns and white toast. Yeah, I think I'll go for that. What do you reckon? Are you ready to order? Can I go for the All-American Slam, please? Yeah, sure can, sweetheart. How would you... Oh, the All-American Slam? Yes? No. Sorry. How would you like your eggs? Uh, medium, please. Okay. How would you like your drinks, sweetheart? Can you do tea, please? Tea? I've English got, tea? English tea? I got, um, hot, uh, let me think what it is. Herbal tea? And then I have, a uh, regular lemon tea. Make a little what, sorry? Lemon tea? Um, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll go for a coffee. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll go for a coffee. I'm not too sure if I like some of the other teas. I only like, I would like the tea I get back home, you see. <laughs> some of the tea you get here is, it's not, I like my own tea. Yeah. I miss it when I come in. I'm so now, I'm I'm I, I mistaken, you like your tea. It's like a hot herbal tea, but with milk in it. Yeah. Okay. That's it, yeah, yeah. I got, I got you. it. <laughs> you want the all American yeah, with your that's eggs? It, yeah. Thank you. Scrambled? Scrambled, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. They don't do tea. Mm. Oh, by the way, it's not a Denny's review, this is a hotel review, so I'm not going to go too overboard on reviewing this. I just want to. to come in here to get something to eat and to drink so it's not really a review of Denny's. You can cut my food there? Yes ma'am. 
English hot tea. Oh, right. Oh, great. Thank you. You're welcome. And I got some of your food. I got tea. Here you go, sweetheart. Thank you. I'll be right back. Ooh. Look at that. Wow. Ooh. Sorry, I was getting a bit sidetracked there. <laughs> it's not a review of Denny's. It's meant to be a review of this hotel I'm staying at across the road. And I'm just about to head back over there now. The, over there, the Motel 6. Oh, thankfully, the, the traffic has just uh, gone quiet and I can head straight over. It's like being on the M6 round here, honestly. Look at the, the size of this road. Anyway, let's head back in here, shall we? Okay, here we go again. Back in the room now. I think I'll be going to bed pretty soon. Right, so I am now back in the room again and uh, hoping that I get through the night. Uh, <clears throat> when I got up in the morning, I'll let you know how it went and we'll probably have another little look around and then I'll let you know what I think. But uh, to be quite honest, I don't think I want to be hanging around here too long tomorrow. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm going tomorrow because I've got no plans after the eclipse. I could head off to Fort Worth down the road. I could go to, there's loads of other places I can go in Texas because I've got another week here. I've got another week to go. So I'll be staying in a few more hotels along the way. So let's get this one out of the way uh, and I'll let you know what I think tomorrow. If I survive. Well, it's the morning after. I have just spent a night here and um, I'm just going to say it. This motel is the biggest hole I have ever stayed in, ever. My goodness. Did I say last night that I saw bugs in the room? There were bugs in the room. Well, I tried to have a shower this morning. And my goodness, there's bugs crawling all over the bathroom. I cannot believe it. Oh my goodness. I think I deserve better than this, folks, after seeing that eclipse on Monday. What a come down. After staying at that hotel, the Hotel Lorenzo, which set me up nicely for the eclipse, but I couldn't afford to stay at that hotel again. It was £180 to stay there for another night and I do have a budget but I paid £90, well £89 for this motel and you think, well I would have thought for that price I would get something better than this. It's absolutely horrendous. I mean the, the area outside is not brilliant. When, when it said market centre I thought market centre, that sounds okay, So sounds like it might be a nice place but it's not really. And um, the, when I checked in last night, the, the lady on the, the, the check-in was functional. She was just functional. Shall I go on mention to her that I had roaches in the room, see if I can get my money back? Because, my goodness, uh, I might have been better off sleeping in my car. What do you think? I can't believe it. I've never, ever stayed in a, in a motel. And I've stayed in some dives in this country, but I've never, ever stayed anywhere that's got 
insects crawling all over it. I think they've got an infestation here. Uh, I'm going to show you in a minute. We could take a look in the bathroom and see if we can see some. I've got some video that I took earlier this morning, just in case we don't see any. Check out this video here. Oh my God, the, I couldn't go in the shower. I could not go in the shower. Oh my God. Oh dear. Yeah, an £89. When you think of what I can get in the UK for that, you can get a whole lot better than this for that price. Have the prices in America gone up since I was last here? I don't know, because I thought I would get better than this for that kind of money because that's pretty good money that is i would say i mean i am on a budget of course but anyway let's take one last look around see if we can find those bugs in the bathroom all right okay i'll quickly show you out the window let's have a little look out the window we had oh i tell you what we had a massive storm last night look at it you can see this it's actually quite threatening storm clouds over there look you can see the pool down there but well, that noise by the way is the air conditioner but I got woken up at about 3 a.m. in the morning by an almighty thunderstorm. My goodness, I've never heard anything like it. They certainly do thunderstorms in Texas. But anyway, I'll just turn the camera back round again. We'll have one last look around. I mean, you know, when you see these bugs in the bathroom and crawling on the floor, you just wonder where it's safe to be in this place, don't you, really? I never had any of the coffee because it's French vanilla and my goodness, as soon as I opened the packet, it was, I don't like French de vanilla. It just smelled disgusting. It knocked me sick that did the coffee. Oh, so I couldn't even have a cup of coffee. Um, the TV doesn't even fit on the, on top of the, uh, <laughs> the cabinet here. Uh, oh, yeah, it's not much in here. Yeah. I was just wondering whether they had one of those Bibles in the in the drawers. Let's have a look. Oh, they do. Yeah, get in. Have been here. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be uh, a very friendly atmosphere about this uh, motel as well. Um, and that's from the. Well, there's only one person that seems to be working here actually, and uh, some of the guests seem a little bit strange. I was in the lift last night. And some woman got into it, and I think she was on something. She was, like, shaking about a bit and making <laughs> incoherent um, sounds. So I don't know what the hell that was about, but I'm glad she didn't get off on the same floor as me. So we'll have a little look over it. That's the bed I slept in, and I don't... <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no, I did check it. I did. I really did check it last night. I checked everywhere. I checked the floor. I checked everywhere I could. Uh, there's that massive fridge, by the way, that takes up a lot of energy and it's got nothing in it. And it's blocking the door. That wouldn't be a fire door there by any chance, would it? What do you think? I mean, why would anyone need such a massive fridge in here? I've got no idea. But anyway, let's just check the bathroom, shall we? Oh my goodness, get ready for this, folks. Oh, here we go. Oh God, I'll just take off the wide angle. Right, let's see. Oh, what's that? Oh my God, look at that. Look at that, folks. It's a roach. Oh my God, it's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. Oh my God. Oh dear. What have I done? Look at that, there's another one on the bath there, look. Oh my goodness, what have I let myself in for here? Oh. Oh my God, I can't believe it, folks. Is there any down here? Oh, man, what do you think to that? That is just, why did he even, st I should have just gotten the hell out of it and hightailed it out of it last night when I, when I saw the bug, shouldn't I? My goodness. Anyway, let, let's wrap this video up, shall we? Oh, so there you go. That was my stay here at the Motel 6 studio in Market Centre, Dallas. And, hmm, you know, I don't really give ratings. I don't, I don't consider myself to be a hotel expert either, really. What I tend to do is I stay at hotels and I just let people decide what they think. But I think you know what I think. I don't give ratings or anything like that. I just want to give my experience of these hotels. And I will probably be staying in a different hotel every single night of this trip.
But when, but last night when it came to booking this hotel, it was so late after the eclipse. I had to edit the video, uh, and it got so late. I just had to find somewhere that I could stay, and this one came up, and I thought it was all right. But I kind of regret it now because it's no, it, it's not good. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's not good, folks. And the price as well. I mean, ninety. I mean, come on. Surely I could have got better. For for that price but uh, I think it's going to have to be right up there I mean the only other hotel I can think of that comes close to this one was the Roadway Inn Flagstaff in Arizona which was bloody horrible it was like being in a prison honestly oh, I don't know what to say I really don't uh, I'm just finishing up some editing now and I'm going to get the hell out of here and I'll be glad to be gone honestly uh, let me know what you think. Uh, did I do the right thing? Uh, should I tell the reception that I've got books in my room and see if I can get my money back? Because uh, I'll tell you what, it's, it's not really what you should have, really, is it? I, I don't think. Not, not for the price I paid, anyway. So there you go. I'm going to leave it there now, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one. Right, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs>